How are you feeling this morning? <laughs> well, you know, I'm not very... I'm a, I feel a little bit ill, I yeah. must say, but no, I'm not going to go on about it. Much. You know what I mean? I don't, I, I don't whinge. No. I know. Uh, okay. I came here to smell a fish stew, and that stew, didn't yeah. help. <laughs> <laughs> Um, got anything, anything which can help him out? No? Yeah, I'm all over that. I'm going to live in Ricky's house because he's my hero. Wow. And uh, <laughs> this is the greatest moment of my life because I'm sitting between my hero and my absolute nemesis. Don't start, don't start on the he nemesis He married stuff, Keira Knightley that I wanted to marry and I wanted to that, be you. That Keira Knightley, that, the, the Keira Knightley <laughs> that he wanted to marry. <laughs> there, was, there was a few, but you married the one that he wanted. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. My hero and my nemesis. Oh, I'm nice. just going to live in your house, in You're a box a, under your bed. Vets are allowed to do medical procedures on humans. Yeah, aren't we they? were talking about that earlier. Yeah. What, so what if, you, I do? If, if you, I'm, I'm on speed dial like, for you. I man. feel like I'm getting gastric flu. Yeah, not, don't not that I'm going to oh. win. Oh. 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 Don't worry. In, in, in a few minutes, we're going to do mouth to mouth resuscitation. Okay. It'll no, be amazing. No one said he's only allowed to do stuff if you're on an aeroplane. No, really? if he yeah. gives me volitional consent, like if you were dancing like a chicken and you suddenly died, for example, or asphyxiated, right. I'd be all over that. Right. Yeah, straight <laughs> in. Big viral in the trachea. <laughs> you're, you're in, in my hands. Even if you've got the real equipment, you still use a bio. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I've always to do this. I've always to take your temperature, Ricky. Even if it's surgery. I've always wanted to take the inside of a big viral. Oh, straight into Ricky's trachea. This is taking a turn for the worst, isn't it? <laughs> It was already a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a weird dream. <laughs> I did, I did lose a bit of weight a few years ago when I thought I was going to die after eating 11 sausages in one night. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It was Christmas and I, I, I laid there like a big snake, thinking, <laughs> like, I won't have to eat for a month. And, and whenever I do that, I was going to my girlfriend, I'm having a heart attack, I'm having a heart attack. And then and I got a bit fit. I, I, I haven't stopped eating too much, but um, I'm, I, I'm sort of nearly veggie now. I'm pescatarian, so I don't eat meat. And I do work out every day. What, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be feeble now, though, isn't no! it? No! I, I do. She got excited when you said courgette. Typical athlete. Oh, courgette. Like, I'm thinking, don't put that in. I'll leave it. <laughs> <laughs> I can have a vegetable soup, right, yeah. with bread, and at the end, all the vegetables there. Like I filtered it out, like yeah, some like sort of like out. a whale. I know what you mean. It's just, just the vegetables are left. No, yeah. but I eat more vegetables now. I work out. I go for a jog, and I work out every day. Like but, a run. Yeah, about 40 minutes. That's so I can. Solid. Yeah, but that, then I. Load up at night. Yeah. I keep, I keep it's it even. It's eight o'clock exactly. feed, isn't it? I'm running and I'm going. Oh, it's nearly six o'clock. Nearly no, six o'clock. At six no. o'clock, the wine's open. That's it. It's all, <laughs> it's all back on. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. I burn off three thousand calories so I can eat three thousand calories. Balance, balance. Look, I'm, like, I'm like an athlete. Yeah. I'm like an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an abs video just like yours. Yeah. I've, I've seen it. I've got loads of abs. They're just under that. You can't see them. I keep them covered. I protect them. Ricky, is there, no, is there no temptation, though, to have some work done? That's all LA. What work would I have done? I don't know. You don't what need would, anything. Don't know, they all do it. See? <laughs> <laughs> my, my mate, right, I went to see my mate when I was at Glastonbury, and he's had a hair transplant, and he well, looks amazing. And Simon now is trying to convince... I now so want actually, one. But should why, do it. But why would one. you want a hair transplant? Because I'm losing with... my hair. Yeah, we all are. I know. That's what get, but, that's what getting old is. But, but that's everything what, everything droops, everything falls out. Ricky, but that's oh, well, why the head. I've got hair that I didn't have everywhere else. I'm, <laughs> I'm like a gorilla from the neck down now. The back swing, <laughs> but on the head, it's it's going. But so what? Look at my look. What would I have done with my teeth? That, I've had fangs for fifty odd years. <laughs> why do I? No. But that's not... what I thought, and then I met my mate Tony, and I went. Wow, he looked, didn't I? Like, came oh, back so and I went, do my it. mate looks amazing. He's just got a full head of hair. He was like, I've never Simon. said that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I've, never, I've never said that in my life. I, I think that, you should do weird. it. We've got different relationships with our mates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, you look amazing. <laughs> Where did you have your hair done? Oh. <laughs> Talking to the guy who wrote a book called Flanimals about the yeah. weirdest looking creatures in the universe. And I based him on me in the bath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're talking about Flanimals there. Ricky, you're quite a good artist. Did you draw the pictures for uh, Flanimals? You did. I did the sketches and then I got a real artist to make him look good. So, um... <laughs> I wanted to ask exactly that. Because you must have one messed up mind. Well, I, That's I, all I'm saying. It, it started off making my sort of nephew laugh when he was about eight and I was about 20. And then he grew out of it. <laughs> and I and I and I carried on. So it was just yeah, it's just a little um, I, I suppose playing with evolution and mucking around with the futility 
of existence, and it's all—it's very sort of dark. And kids love it; they yeah. love that sort of yeah, yeah, horrible, yeah. horrible, I love ironic it. I have stickers death. everywhere. But the reason he's my hero is he does more for animals than almost anybody in the United Kingdom. So fair dues, man. Fair well, dues. I, Gen I, genuinely, I, I, the man yeah. does so much for animals. Well, I disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> He does. I, do, I, do, I do a little bit, and I'm more famous than some people that do a lot, but a lot of people do it absolutely 24-7. They, they get no reward. They stand outside Tesco's collecting. They actually go there and do it. I, I do a bit of tweeting and, um, and uh, you know, little bits like that. But, um, well, your cat does a bit of tweeting. The, <laughs> the cat. My cat does do a little bit of tweeting, yeah. I'm it's... a bit worried about Noel today. I know. <laughs> I'm just relating to the animalistic instincts around me. It's all good. Oh it's all good. It's my hero. It's my nemesis. I'm, I'm, I'm in good shape. What, all right. Brendan? You like to... what, what do you think of yeah. Brendan? Yeah. Okay. I'm neutral. I'm neutral. He's, 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 he's the adjudicator. Don't get me involved. He's the adjudicator. Yeah, I'm the adjudicator. Ricky's stepping so well so away from the food. It might, it might be a little bit dangerous. <laughs> well, I might just look at it and go, that's lovely. Have you seen that Netflix documentary? Psalm oh, Psalm is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. I never thought that would be an yeah. interesting. It's, the it's incredible. It's it's yeah. the guy. It's the fresh te the tennis ball. Like oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what's tennis it, what's it's it about? The, they call it it's the, it's the hardest test in the yeah. world. The, the percentage of people that pass it and how many there are. It's the Smellier test of this this you know. It's like a handful become, every year. Yeah. To get it. And, and then, it was incredible. And these yeah. people. Honestly, that it's but it, mad what they can like tell. This, yeah. They know what side of the valley, valley the grape is in what it's mental. Yeah. Mm. Okay, okay. so Good. Sure they're just cooking away. Exercises all the time then. What's that? You're doing nose exercises all of the time. Oh no, now. I don't do any of that. Stuff. No, 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 no. <laughs> Leave that to the experts. You're just a perfect man. I hate you all the time. <laughs> oh, come on. You, you Hold on. What am I, chopped liver? <laughs> <laughs> now there's a little bit of jealousy going on. I like you. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky yeah. said be nice to yeah. him. Unbelievable, yeah. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm worried that if someone just tuned in before I said, got pretended to get jealous at him, <laughs> they won't know the backstory. Oh, no. <laughs> so, but they can rewind on the other floor. They can do the whole thing. <laughs> He's been saying so, things. So they just turn and I'm going, oh, what am I chopping? So, so every what does that mean to anyone who's just tuning in? <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to hug me because he doesn't like me anymore. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what it means is it, that I love you. Yeah. I do not love him because no. he married the lady I love. I know. Therefore. But, but you hate him. You, you were going on about how handsome he is and I was in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm the only man in the entire universe to make Ricky Gervais jealous on air. Awesome. <laughs> I've always said, if I had the space, I would. I would actually have an apiary. I'd really, really like to I'd do it. I'd love to have one, yeah. Uh, it'd just be amazing. How many bees are we talking? <laughs> I was going to start with two. Yeah, two. <laughs> so, see, so, see if they get on. Like, like the art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Something like that. Yeah. See how I get took from that I point. think you've got to have the right two with right. bees. I don't think you can just do a random yeah. two. Four, this maybe particular, then? I'd, I'd go. Yeah. I'd, I'd go for. Um, I'm going to start with ten thousand. Mm. <laughs> I think it's actually more like a hundred thousand. I, I was talking to a I beekeeper meant. this week. <laughs> <laughs> and what can they do? What, how much honey can they make in so a year? So about. The, it's not a huge quantity. The companies that do it get twenty jars per year. But what do they do? What, they, they've made all that, and that's for storage, isn't it? That's for that, that's their larder. And we come along and go, cheers, and they go, oh, for and they got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> they they go, I've been flying these little wings. I've been. Do you know how long that took me? <laughs> I've been carrying that for a year. I think, and I, I, I'm not an expert on beekeeping itself, but I think they overproduce. So right. I don't think we take more yeah. than it's, than we've it's asked necessary. Have some of this. We've honestly. <laughs> yeah. But yes. got enough. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're fine. <laughs> We're fine for the winter. Yeah. Do you watch Game of Thrones? I, I do. I, I thought I'd hate it. I thought, oh, oh, Dungeons and Dragons nonsense. Now I'm going, bring on the dragons. Yeah, it's yeah, fantastic. It's great, isn't it? You know, Simon doesn't watch it yet, do you? No, no, not yet. But, um, it's good. It, it teaches yeah, you that if you've got a problem with someone, kill them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely lesson. This is Gosnell's, and this is made in Peckham, actually quite near to where I live. And this is much wow. less sweet. This has got a nuttiness. It's much lighter in alcohol. So where the last one was about 14%, That's this is 5.5. That's great. I can taste the honey more in that one. Yeah, yeah, so it comes through. You get this sort of crisp nuttiness. It's got a freshness to it. I really like this. I could is quite happily... Peckham? This tastes like a Peckham one. It is from Peckham, funnily <laughs> enough. It's lovely, that's my favourite. Really, really. 5.5%. Oh, what is going on? Final one. <laughs> I felt ill. 
<laughs> it's worrying that this is making me feel better. <laughs> I think this is really, really lovely, but I probably wouldn't serve it neat like this. I'd, I'd serve it um, lengthened with soda it's and maybe dangerous a bit of mint. It's because and some it tastes lemon. like a soft drink. Yeah, it's, yeah. Soft yeah. Drink. Yeah. it's, it's yeah. just too. Yeah, that yeah. one lets you know. That one reminds yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, that is delicious. And this is stronger <clears> as yeah. well. All right, let's uh, choose our favourite. Ricky, what's your favourite? Um, that's the nicest taste, but it's 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 it feels like I'm not drinking. I, I think this one. I yeah, think that's, that's the one. middle one. I think Peckham. is quite. You can't beat Peckham. You I can't beat Peckham. I'm going Peckham. I'm going Peckham. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers to Peckham. Later on, comedian Harry Hill will be popping by. Uh, how are we all today? It's very dark good. outside. Yeah, we're saying winter's coming, winter's isn't it? Winter's coming, it's John Snow. <laughs> yes. Sorry, uh, why is Harry Hill not here? Could I have come in later as well? Yeah. No. Yeah. He, he's, we he's all got up really a... early. Yeah. What's going on? He's such a huge star. I know he is, but he's here. I mean, the Spice Girl has turned on. Yeah. She showed up. Yeah, it's that, it's that thing, you know when we walk into the studio late, Tim, like we always do, and the guests are sitting there going, oh, three hours, what are we going to do yeah. for three hours? It's so boring. But, yeah, thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I actually don't know. We weren't thinking that, but now we are. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know why he's not here. We'll ask him when he yeah, comes. Yeah, please do. And also, do. trim down at whatever he's plugging. Only give him, like, 30 seconds. <laughs> 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 That's my favourite spice um, Bunton. Bunton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 nice, Bunton, then nice Halliwell. <laughs> Then B. And then I think there was another, but I forget. Yes, Tim, you're from Bristol. What, what's, yes. the, what's the fish and chips there? Do you have gravy and curry sauce, or is it...? Uh, I think there's some curry sauce, but, um, it's, uh, no, it's mainly pretty trad. Um, <laughs> I remember going into the fish and chip shop, my, the, the first time my parents sent me in to, uh, to get fish and chips, and the, my dad always said, uh, you know, can we get uh, two cod lots? And I went in, and I, I couldn't remember exactly what he said. I remember going in and saying, can I get uh, two cod pieces? <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. I want a nickel prawn. Can I nickel prawn? Excuse me, I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wouldn't like it. You wouldn't like it. <laughs> and now it's time to welcome three time BAFTA award winning <laughs> Harry Hill to the show. Get out of here. Get out of here. Well, He's you alive, know, guys. You don't, yeah. you'd think is you don't have to turn up for the whole show. You know, they, they, they film it in a shopping centre. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do, Harry. You do. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, three, Sorry about three, that, yeah. three, three, ba three times BAFTA award. Is he earning one? Three? Three? Three, three BAFTAs, BAFTAs, yes. That's pretty good. Uh, every BAFTA, ones. do you get to turn up an hour late? Is that <laughs> <laughs> well, then so I shouldn't have to be here at all. I've won three BAFTAs, BAFTAs oh, as well. Yeah, I tell you what, we, we won an award the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we were getting into it now. We won a TV Choice yeah. Award, and we've been nominated we've for our... Well, we're on the long list for the, for the NTA, <laughs> NTA Award for yeah, Best so Live so Magazine we're, Show. We're getting excited about awards now. Get your awards out. How many of you won, Stephen? Three BAFTAs, two Golden Globes and an Emmy. Really good, <laughs> um, quite a few. <laughs> Go on, do you remember? I think a couple of Ivan Novellos, a um, few MTV music vi music video awards. Yeah. Um, what else? Really Brits. Count. A load of Brits. How many Brits have you won? Oh, do you now you're asking, aren't you? Well, we, we got one very special one. We got an iconic one recently. So, my gosh, I don't know. No, you don't memorise exactly how many awards you've won. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. I start counting. <laughs> 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 I ought. Ashling, have you? Yes, I uh, won a treasure hunt. Uh, it was 98, <laughs> I think, on sports day, and those who didn't want to be involved in sports uh, could partake in the treasure hunt, and uh, <laughs> I did come second. So. I, uh, I know you, you won everything in, in Denmark. Basically, they give you everything, don't they? Yeah, so I won quite a few Danish music yeah, awards, yeah. and I had a Billboard music awards with Lean On, and and, and like mm. a couple of. Little things, but not. I mean, yeah. But why don't you do it for the awards? I do it to get up at eight fifteen <laughs> in the morning on a Sunday. How is your cookie, Stephen? I like to cook, and I always like to cook in a blazer and hat as well. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I did. Look, I, I actually scolded myself the other day, Simon, on the oven as I was getting something out, and I just, you know, I just rolled with it as I imagine you would in a, in a kitchen, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. No, no rushing to A and E like what, these chumps. What were you, <laughs> <laughs> what were you making? Ah, oh, goodness me, I think I was just heating up some oven chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't very exciting. Uh, There's something quite nice about those. Isn't burns. it? Yeah, those kind of... Those yeah, kind like of it. I got, that one, I got that one on my thing, yeah. didn't I, from the oven. I had a new oven, which was low rather than high. And, you, and yet you still bu bu I, burnt your upper arm. Well, it was the first time I actually had to go down, so I didn't... I, I, anyway, I, I controlled it on my arm, but it's not gone away. Were you shirtless? Well. 
I wasn't. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Stephen, if yes. you would so be, be so kind, chuck all of those into that bowl. Right. You could have done it yourself, but I'll do it for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lazy swine. <laughs> and then zest a bit of lemon. It's, right. kind of, it's kind of one of those things that makes for a really uninteresting bit of television. If I just stood and cooked, no, sure. didn't get the guests to do anything, which happens quite a lot. Yeah. Now, as well as uh, inventing The Office, as we yeah. know you did, um, you also... Didn't you also invent um, uh, lip-sync lip battle? Lip-sync battle, that's right, yes. Your idea, conceived This is a car. show in which people uh, sort of mime right. to... Famous people mime along to... Sorry, is that not, was I not that's doing fine, it? That's fine, that's beautiful. Oh, okay. It's just I've got to get this on, otherwise Sorry, we'll mate. be eating raw chicken. Yeah, as I said, you should have done it yourself. But anyway. <laughs> 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 who did you invent it with? I, have, I was in a car with the actor John Krasinski, who was in the American version of The Office, and... Um, we were just we were just lip syncing to the songs on the radio for fun, and it just coincidentally he had to go on the Jimmy Fallon talk show in America, and I said, oh, you should do this on the show, and he came up with the idea of it as a contest, and now it's 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 been a sort of phenomenon. It's it's extraordinary, and it's such a bizarre show. I went down there recently just as a as a show of support, and John Legend was miming to Hey Ya, and he brought on Stevie Wonder to mime playing the piano. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what are you doing? What has TV become? <laughs> I was kind of appalled that I'm involved with it. <laughs> I was ashamed. <laughs> it was extraordinary. Well, well, what's brilliant is you've done it yourself, haven't you? I have done it myself, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, I... Well, you know, as an executive producer, I wanted to show support. Yeah. And, um, and I yeah. really made a fool of myself, cos I was trying to... I wanted to show other people that were considering doing it yeah. that, you know, you could have fun and you could yeah. be silly, and then I sort of went too far, really. <laughs> right, so... What we do, we yeah. have. So the onions go in here. And like again, any good chef, you carry the onions from here to that <laughs> yeah. side of the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart. yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's television <laughs> gold. Sure, yeah. will, you be, will you be doing any more stand-up soon? I, I've been toying with it, but um, the problem with stand-up is it's just so time-consuming, you know, because you just you have to go out there and you have to go to clubs and try out the material and... And um, it's, I just find it it's very stressful and, uh, and, you know, you're out at night, you know, uh, when you could be out rocking and rolling, as, <laughs> as I obviously normally am. But was, and, it, was it an ambition of yours to always do stand -up? I started doing it years ago. I did it before uh, anything else, really. I did it when I was first out of university. And, um, and I remember the first gig I did, I, I thought it went tremendously. I was like, this is easy, I'm the king mm. of this. And then the following week, just died on my arse. And it was sort of that... Sorry for saying arse. Um, and then um, <laughs> just kind of swing, you know, it was that for a long time. It was just, it was just great gigs, tough gigs. Um, one guy actually, in Exeter once, and a man actually shouted, taxi for the comedian, <laughs> which I thought was just a sort of myth, but yeah, he did. And, yeah. um, and then everyone had a whip round and they did get me a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was tough. What do, what do we all think? Ashley, what do you think of that? Well, do I don't want to make my social life sound off the hook, but I once watched a documentary on apples. And <laughs> apparently, apparently, people used to pay workers, um, especially round where you're from, um, they oh, used right. to pay them... <laughs> get you for that Irish comment earlier on. Um, they used to pay them in cider because uh, the apple... They used to, like, harvest apples, and that's how you used to pay people, because there wasn't enough clean water, so, like... They yeah, used to it was a, a part payment. It was called Truck. And it was mm. outlawed in 1887, but it has continued well on into the into the 20th century. It was outlawed. That's how I got paid for the office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was up a lot of apples. Yeah. Oh, good for apples. <laughs> Harry, what do you think? Yes, it's very much more like cider than the other two. <laughs> I mean, I'm a cider, cider, cider expert. But, yeah. I would be more because I'm not a big cider fan. I would be more on the, the middle with the apple juicy one. And this is like more of a hardcore right. well, cider let, fan. Let's do that. Choose our favourites. Oh. Yours is the middle one, then. Yes, yeah? please. Harry, uh, this one. This one. This is the sort of thing I'd have bought and then hung around in a park uh, drinking with friends. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I was about 14. We're just going to stand and watch it. Yeah. Don't see, you can... You can this entertaining? Look and learn, Harry, look and learn. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is how to make TV gold cookery. I bet on your show you do stuff, whereas we just watch. Yeah. It's much, yeah, you know, yeah. much more efficient. Well, each to his own. 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> You should have stayed in bed, Harry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to um, spatula yeah. the, uh, the meringue mix onto there. You put it over your head, yes. and that's how you test it's done. Uh -huh. You put it over your head. Oh, is that right? Feel free. Mm. Feel free. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy to, happy to play along with that. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Very easily pleased over there. <laughs> Well, we're drunk on cider. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you sat next to one of your heroes today, we understand. You're a yeah. big fan of cars. Yeah. Bit You've weird, literally just found that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty freaky. I thought I'd keep that a surprise. <laughs> yeah. What is it you like about him? Um, Don't ask that. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bit intimate. Uh, um, his dress sense. <laughs> uh, Why are we laughing at that? Sorry, Carl. Yeah. Uh, Carl, you've taken up running. I have, yeah. Uh, how long are you? How far are you running? Uh, about just under five miles every other day. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. How long's that taking you? Forty minutes. Forty minutes. That's pretty good. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Really? Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> are you going to be? You going to be all right? Why is it? Done. Very quiet. Yeah. Forty yeah. minutes. That's yeah, pretty. It's good. Really it's incredible. Fast. It's pretty fast. Are you sure? You want me five k? No, no. Well, it's, there's not much in it, is there? Five k. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there is. There is. There's like two, three miles in that. Oh well, no, I'm not doing that on that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'll just look at my phone because your phone measures you, doesn't it? And yeah, that's yeah. in. That's in. Uh, well, Kilometres, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five K is like three miles. Yeah. Well, he's still pretty good, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's doing great. Yeah. He's doing really great. <laughs> You're running anyway. Fun. You're doing it. Really like How many have you run? What, when? <laughs> today. None today. Uh, do, you, do you run? Uh, I've, well, do you want to go into my bad back? Oh, oh right. I've got a bad back. Oh. Yeah, I've had no, a that's, bad that's why I've, I've got a bad back. That's have why I'm you? running. Carl, are you a fan of that? It's all right, yeah. I've, um, I've become a flexitarian. <laughs> right. So I'm cutting back on meat and what have you. So I've got to eat more fish. Oh, but okay. uh, always saddens me, though. Why? <laughs> seeing it, seeing it like that. Do you know, like, you never see a, a bit of an animal on a no, thing, but... True. In, yeah. Do you know in, like, um, self-reduced, like, fish? Yeah. Just depressing walking past it, seeing them. And because they haven't got eyelids... <laughs> Do you know? Yeah, yeah. You see that? yeah. The fact that you can see their eyes, they don't, they don't do that thing that you do with dead people when you sort of close their <laughs> eyes. Not. So it's just, it's, there's, something, there's something depressing about it. I've Sorry, always, CJ. It's fine. I just, look, like you, really nice. I just like you to see the whole fish. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, you know yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. All these flatfish start out as tiny little round fish and they either roll to the left or to the right, depending what happens when they grow. That rolls onto its left side, the eyes move over, and it uses its fins to uh, hide itself under the gravel. So it's a great way of camouflage. If you flip the fish over, it's white on the underside. Didn't so work for that one. Sorry? <laughs> camouflage. It's yeah, it, camouflage. It didn't, didn't quite work for that one. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> Tell you what, whilst we're at it... <laughs> can I just say, whoever is in charge, I think it's Shell Garage near Fleet, they need to sort it out. Because <laughs> the, the toilet in there is... This... Do they have that thing on the doors? You know when they say someone's checked? Yeah. I don't know who, who that person is. That's why... You... But it oh, is disgusting. Carl, you go to Japan, there's none of that because they've got proper toilets with the bits coming out and stuff like that. We did League of Our Own Road Trip in Germany and the toilets in the service stations were incredible. Yes. They, yeah. Good. What they, is they wrong with Britain? Britain? I don't know. Book. Lovely. I just used to hang around them. Something that was really good in. <laughs> are, are you feeling Ladies fine? Come and have a little taste of this. So, what we get is this. Just hang around. We wanted, you yeah. wanted you to make it yourself. Yeah, we didn't see that happen, didn't you? When I was... A few years back, I used to get a lot of spots. Yes. And my doctor told me to drink rum. Do you know if there's any truth in that? 100%. 100% truth. Any, any person that says rum... <laughs> Any person or no, any doctor? No, <laughs> oh, no, like, no. Allowed to say that? No, this is, can I... He's not a doctor anymore. Can I point out? Allegedly, allegedly... No. Don't kid with acne, just no. saying there. Allegedly. Down the bar of Morgan. Stop it, that's no. But allegedly, no. allegedly... No, no, no allegedly. Can I point out, alcohol does not cure acne? No, your doctor's just stupid. I'm sorry, alcohol does not. You're going to get us into trouble. Did a doctor have a hat on, like, and a, and a Jamaican accent? <laughs> like me. <laughs> <laughs> Did he do that? Oh, <laughs> and he went, I just happen to have some under here. <laughs> 30 quid. Look at my skin. <laughs> oh, By the way, you can also pass this off as a really healthy um, a smoothie when you're on the way to work as well. That's the other great reason of having a cocktail with a side of a blender. <laughs> Right. <laughs> he did, he did not. I feel bad about having a go at that petrol station, but they do. I'm, I'm not naming people in that, but it does need sorting. You need to one. clean the toilet. It's really, you honestly, yeah. it's, it's what's going on. There's nothing worse than, than dirty toilets. It's not just, I'm not just talking about the toilet. Yeah. I put my hand in the hand dryer and there was like crisp packets and. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, it was just everything about yeah. it. 
<laughs> it's not good, is it? It's not what you want, is it? It's just, uh, isn't that like the biggest lifesaver ever, the washing of hands? Whoever came up to, someone came up with that, didn't they? Wash your hands. It was like something it, that someone did and it, it beats it, everything. Is it Lister? No, I made that up, hasn't I it? Don't, I don't know, is but it? honestly, if he went in that toilet, he'd be better than not there was, a, there was a bloke who said, this could be a really bad conversation, this, but there was a bloke who said <laughs> that we've got germs on us and everyone laughed at him, who said there's these little germs, you should wash your hands before you operate. People thought he was nuts. Just chuck all of that into there. No, I any order, any order, yeah? Any order, yeah. yeah. You want these broke, obviously. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll... Carl, it's a new year, it's a new decade and mm. a fresh start. And uh, a lot of people believe in uh, positive affirmations, <coughs> don't they, at this time of year? Yeah. Do you believe in those? Um, got to be positive all year, haven't you? Mm. That's what anyway, I do. yeah, uh, you've got to change your attitude to life. Because of this, we've got you a gift. It is the Carl Pilkington Affirmations Calendar. It's quotes on your outlook on life. You take one of these a day and it will make you feel better. Get on to me ears. It's... <laughs> it's interactive. Yes, it is. It's interactive and... <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Do you know... I, I'm sorry, let me read the affirmation okay. first. <laughs> I look at life like a big book. And sometimes you get halfway through it and go, even though I've been enjoying it, I've had enough. Give us another book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, the stalker's in. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say that on XFM? What year? Uh, I, what, like, oh. 2004? Which volume? Which, which series? <laughs> which, what it's, time? It's like series two. <laughs> oh, honestly, <laughs> you said all these. I know, but it annoys me because before, when I was, the reason I came here was to promote sick of it, and I feel rushed. And now you're filling time. <laughs> <with it. laughs> it's like <laughs> honestly, it winds me right every time, every time. <clears throat> Carl, podcasts have become big now, haven't they? But you, you did them in 2005, was it? You did yours. I reckon Ricky it might have been earlier than that. You know, it might have been 2000, 2002, 2003, I think. I don't know, I, I honestly can't remember, but they are massive now. Eight, but 18 million downloads you had of yours, didn't you? Is that you? right? Yeah, because uh, uh, they were downloading them everywhere, all over America and everywhere, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, it's... Um, I suppose it was popular because there weren't any others. It's like the, the technology to play a podcast was out before the podcast. So we were the only ones doing it. And st Ricky came up with the idea because they were always busy and couldn't sort of... Um, do the radio show. Do the radio show, you know, they couldn't say we could be in town on a Saturday at one o'clock, whereas a podcast you can do where you want. It was just in their office. We had like a duvet up for soundproofing. Um, and yeah, it was dead easy. Dead easy, I used to just we recorded it on a laptop, put it out there. But you were charging for them, weren't you? After a bit, yeah. Um, because I, I wasn't, I didn't really have a job. Well, you better hear me with this. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and oh. roll. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we... Um, oh, that one. Do Use I have to stand back? Use oh, the flask. Stick it in your flask. Yeah, put it in the flask. <laughs> 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 um, ah. So, um, yeah, they were, they were pretty popular, those... Uh, I don't know if you can hear me, really. Is it? <laughs> That'll do you. That'll do you. <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 Flour, sugar goes in there. Mix all of that together. Right. Carl, do you do a lot of cooking? I don't. To be no. Um, no, it's a lot of messing around in it. I think I, I'd never buy. I'd never buy instant mash. I'd never do that. Right. No. But other than that, I, I buy. Um, if it was, if I didn't have a girlfriend and that, I'd probably just get the heat in the oven stuff. I don't. I don't. I'm not interested. You've got to be interested in it, haven't you? Just waffling away here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm hammered. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I was looking at old clips on here, because I, I don't I don't want to repeat myself on that. And I've been on here seven times. I didn't get a silver mug. What? Um, seventh time. And we have all age, you know. No. No. I don't know what happens. <laughs> no, I know, but proper, like. Oh, well, yeah. It's not good, is it? It's like, do you know when you do a, a time-lapse on an apple? 
<laughs> and you see it crumble. <laughs> Honestly, you, proper look, a proper wreck now. Do you, do you like the, <laughs> are you, you're struggling with the ageing process? You're right with it. Um, I've never been like a stunner or anything, so <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't lost anything.